Everybody just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another live stream. Today we are going to be continuing Tales from the Borderlands. Uh, if you didn't watch it yesterday, I, I, I went live to film episode 3. It was a really good episode. Uh, looks like, if I remember correctly, we got captured by, uh, what's her name? Valve, I think her name is, like Valve or something like that. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens in this one. So I say let's just hop right into it. Make sure you follow me. I would really appreciate it. And if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. And let's just hop right into it. Desktop audio on. And I should probably put gameplay. Hold on. There we go. <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay, it looks like we're going to space. Alright. Oh, yeah, we have to go to Helios. Okay. Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Destroy that body while I'm still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gorthys robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the Gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned. He did get lucky. <clears throat> the con artist he got really lucky. ...were forced to surrender. Now... They were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Oh, Valerie is her name, okay. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're th you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar. But I can't <clears throat> I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. This we had to have run into this guy at some point. But I can't you think of who it might be. Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't uh, aren't you kind of you know vault hunting? No. Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. I don't know. What's he gonna do? Huh? Shoot us both? Make a run for it. I think that's a good idea. Let's make a run for it. Yeah. Okay. That's a good plan. No, it's it's far from a good plan. But it's the only one I've got. So let's go for it. Remember, zigzag when you run. Okay. Hit up. Makes you harder. Zigzag. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's it's genius. I I actually heard that before. I don't know if it's like a true thing. Two. Say put. I wanna. <laughs> 
I want to see what's going to happen here. Oh. That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. And... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that scared me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that was a bad idea, wasn't it? It was a rocket launcher, okay? <clears throat> it was massive. Even for her. No matter what, we were gonna get caught or whatever. We just what? made uh, Reese look like an idiot. <laughs> Dear, I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, Gordas is basically a kid, tell right? Me about the vault of the traveler. The, the vault of the traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios. I can summon the vault and hold it here, then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. Is this about Athena? You're feeling this guilty. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has hmm. to answer for. Enough about yeah. Athena. Like, how Let's heavy is that, Bizuka? The where she can lift it, but... Uh... Hey, Fiona can't. I completely flaked on her, no her name for a dogs. second. I've come to strike an accord. Oh. <clears throat> what are the terms? <clears throat> it's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher, and you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? Yes. I just wish to be left alone. I don't understand. I feel like this is a plan. What did Vaughn ever do to you? Seeing as I mm. saved his <clears throat> life, cured his paralysis, allowing me some peace is the least he can do for me. I mean, yeah, I guess he has a point. Right, right. Then I shall make my leave. He will remember this. I suspected you would. Fine! You all right? Ah, uh, I've been better. All right, never mind. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, <clears throat> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. I wonder if... Uh, if we decided to have... If we didn't try to kill that scientist. Because in the last one... Uh, we had the option to say... Oh, we would have killed you too. Or... 
telling uh, Athena, 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 I don't know her name, uh, to not kill him. I feel like maybe it would have been different. But since we said we would have killed him too, then yeah, I don't blame him for doing that. A better crew than a pair of Pandoran mm. con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? I mean, that's not a bad I'll idea. A hint. The only right answer is yes. <clears throat> this is not a negotiation. Hell no. There's no way we're working for you. Well, we'll see. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Come again. Mm. Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? <clears throat> so we take this out. Hey! You said you wouldn't hurt anyone. Stop. Yes, whatever you want. Please, just... Just leave him alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. Patch up the nerd. <sighs> Don't want him bleeding out on us. Oh, great. Getting dragged away some more. I should be getting used to this by now. <clears throat> Son. How? Just how? Yeah. She doesn't look like she's that much stronger than uh, Fiona. Yes, oh Let's man. <clears throat> and yes, I am still kind of sick, so you're probably gonna hear me clear my throat a lot. So I'm sorry in advance. It's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> Okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Hey, come well, on, come on. Just this isn't the first time we've had down, to get creative. Okay? Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's ball beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <laughs> Sorry, without getting ourselves killed. <coughs> no shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we can How's your make tum -tum some there, buddy? That'll to teach you to hit the taco truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the stuff. So Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every I could aspect use your help. of the mission. Yeah, so of course you could. I'm not the one Is that a yes or no? What, you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Great, real helpful. Honestly, don't know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. All right, look, I know we've had our differences, and I'll admit I can get pretty grouchy when I don't get my I own way. But try to maximize our chances, okay, I'm ready one. to bury that. We don't go. All right. <laughs> you know it's it's a metaphorical hatchet, Fine. especially because solution, I know I don't really have any hands right now. Which is a real bitch, I tell you what. You help us out, and you can consider that hatchet good and buried. Then it's a deal, Daddy-o. Stick with a verbal agreement, shall we? Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Guys, we can actually do this. What are you talking about? The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check mm. it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Mm. <clears throat> hey, mm. put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected. We got a winner. Boom. What now, August? Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man. I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Very little shot. Sign me up. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Teamwork. That's how. And you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! 
Helios. Okay. Now, how do we get there? Oh, well, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. Oh, thank God I didn't miss that. That would have been bad. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have lift off. Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that easy. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. There's no way they're going to just let him walk in. God. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office. We're all... <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. That's the piece? Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Okay. Wait a minute. How are you going to pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Well, that's now what I, I thought. go as someone else. And for the grand finale, oh, Digistruct of Vast Skies. Huh, okay. That kind of makes that sense. Hyperion's going to want proof that Reese is <clears throat> dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. I don't I'm not gonna tell him. It just Came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Mm. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Mm. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, mm. there's something you need to get off your chest. We're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, mm. we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me, okay? I know Helios like the back of my hand. <laughs> Which one, jerk off? Oh, actually, I was wondering about that. When you take care of business, do you use robo hands or your bro no we you don't need to get into that conversation right here okay oh and if you can't tell for my stream element that you see right there on the uh the stream chat it says episode three but that was because i went live before i updated it because i you know i'm an idiot and i forgot so this is episode four just in case you don't know this is episode four and I will probably be doing five too. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm gonna be doing five also. <clears throat> Real one. In this uh, in this uh, live stream, but we'll see. All right, Valerie signed up on the plan. Kay. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off the Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. <laughs> August. Watch Gordas. I'll miss you. 
just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this thing. Thing. <gasps> but I like you so much. Oh, I like Gordas. Such a little <laughs> little kid. Uh, hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because hmm. he screwed him out of a lot of uh, money for well. his caravan repairs. He could be angry. about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us and he's a he's a decent guy. Yeah. I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? Ha! It's a living breeze of Brian Fiona. Looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I think we gotta be honest with him. Could be bad, but. I'm saying. I'll shut up. Oh, hey. So, uh. Mm. We lied about being racers. We were only in that one death rally by accident. We just really needed repairs. Like, life or death stuff. Sorry. Oh no, I am so surprised. Come on, girl, I knew you was a racer. But you look like a couple of good-natured gals, and I never turned down an opportunity to help a couple ladies, especially when I got a crush on one of them, and I will not say who that is, no matter what. Fiona, shoot! What can I do you for? Uh, I think he's my favorite character so far. Even though we haven't not seen him much. I do you or nothing, no, it's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, well, one of feel you like he would appreciate this. So I can, I can shut. Fine. We need your help. Mm -hmm. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man. I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Just let him have this. I'm going to be a hero! Mm. Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. Hmm. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. That He kind of sounds like me, to be honest. Oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, mm -hmm. look, I know a lot about cars, and I know a lot about mm. engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's mm. a little out of sorts. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <clears throat> That's not good. like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. Athena. But That's her name, Athena. Again. She ain't much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. Mm -hmm. The last one who saw Athena, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Well, she's yeah. still alive. It's not like she's dead. Oh. Athena's not the type to leave just for some random delivery job. She lied, and you covered her ass. I you didn't cover nothing. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Uh, Ooh, yeah. That's, I heard the I'll two do it. You talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't. What was she doing? Why did she mm. lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was training me. For what? Mm. To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Dead. Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? Mm -hmm. I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield. I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. That's true. She didn't she save us, so. Valerie threw two vault hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. 
She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Change the subject. <laughs> These nice ladies want us to build a <laughs> rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to wanna know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me? Ah, she did, but what did she say? The way she acted. Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh. You're welcome. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. Young lady, mm -hmm. you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I mean, okay. It's kind of... I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo. I feel like she could have had better wordplay there, but... To make sure it doesn't explode on you. It's fine. Oh, man. That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever mm. heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that... It will be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? Scooter, want to come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Well, space buddies! Oh boy, I don't think it's going to end well for him. <clears throat> At least I hope. I hope everything's fine, but. Fiona was talking her way into a rocket caravan, I was going to meet up with Wallethead. Fortunately, I had company. I, uh, should have said this earlier. <laughs> Can't believe Fiona let you get stabbed. Don't blame her. She couldn't have known. That's true. Valerie was the one holding the knife. Just glad she agreed to help when she did. Hold me. I'm not sure how I feel about you going to Helios without me. I think I'm kind of glad. I don't know if I want to get tempted to stay. But then again, it'd be nice to see some people. Devet, especially. Well, you'll definitely be missed. The old stomping grounds won't be the same without you. Well, you were the best up there. If anyone can pull this off, you can, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just sorry uh, we're not doing it together. I mean, did you get a little stabbed? Sure. But, look, man, you're handling yourself in ways that I would have never expected. Like, jumping on Valerie's back like that? That was pretty epic, wasn't it? <laughs> totally. I mean, she beat the living shit out of me right after you left. And I took it! Uh, of course you did, but, but yeah. <laughs> you saved my ass. Huh? I did, didn't I? <laughs> you did. You think I should try and escape while you guys are gone? I mean, if I'm the only collateral she has, maybe it'll help if I'm off the table. Take away her leverage. I mean, obviously running seems dangerous, but sticking around doesn't seem so great. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, I, sh I don't know. Educated. It's got nothing to do with collateral. It's, it's about <clears throat> keeping you safe. So be careful. Okay. We'll find you after we get the piece. I know you will. I have faith in you. You'll make it. All right. Well, it's all you from here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I could keep up anyway. Brony. Brony? Hmm? Just be careful out there, okay? All right, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. And you are staying here. And, uh, if you ain't back with the goods, you could use your buddy's corpse to get inside Helios. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I get it. Off you go. 
is this? Oh, are we? Um, what are we? What are we trying to think. Are we getting? Oh, okay. His body. Oh God. It's felt huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your heart. Not whatever. What? Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this hmm. weird chapter of my life. Hmm. Yeah, you better run. My office. Okay, dark interior, oh. check. Planetary view, huh? Out the window, check. A chair so soft it could only be made out of supple kitten flesh, check. And if you're a good boy, maybe I'll even let you sit there. Maybe. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Bro. You better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A what? Skin? Oh. 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 Bro, just stop. Just stop, just stop, please. Okay. Okay, let's just go and find his face and get out of here. Oh, skin pizza. Let's find Vasquez's face mm. and get out of here. You're the boss. Mm. <clears throat> All right, look, Reese, what happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. <sighs> Let's just drop it, okay? So we can focus on finding the face. Okie dokie, I'll drop it like a moonshot into a basket full of puppies. No problemo. What? You what? You gotta keep an eye on your friends <clears throat> during this Helios mission, huh? Mm -hmm. Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Huh. Having him around is a good thing. Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Mm. How am I going to find Vasquez's face mm. in all this mess? That's what an echo is for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Scanning. Scanning. That doesn't look like it. Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that You and me, Pumpkin. Let's rock this walk. <clears throat> well, this place is scaring me and I'm a freaking hologram. Well, there's the pizza. Uh, careful now. I want to end up psycho dinner. Disturb huh? sleep pattern? Oh, flawless. Not now. Interrupt. <laughs> Alright, good, good. Again, this time with feeling. Give him the old smackdown. Attaboy. Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. You should punch with this arm more often. Yeah, why don't you? It's a metal arm. You think it would make more sense about. to use that arm? Nope. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Huh. Kind of looks like my ex girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. That it? Yep, that is it. <clears throat> oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing. Oh, that is one ugly mug. Um, where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket. I don't know. I, I can't brawl his face, or the digistruct won't work. Just 
Rip it off like a bandage. Make it painful. Oh. Mm. Okay. He's peeling it off. Oh my god. Face. Not going to barf into his mouth. <laughs> With your mouth. Oh. That's it. Go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh my god. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, oh. God. That's so cool. That, that oh. is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God. Oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it oh. off. Right. Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do that to me. Oh, <laughs> oh. <gasps> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! Until well, once I snatched that first pizza, <clears throat> gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of which could. So, one. one. Yeah, one. Okay. Still has a bomb, so that equals at least ten. With chest bomb. Boom. What? Where's one? Little bastard bit me, then ran off. You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> there he is. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were... supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. Just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. Oh my god. Hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> Ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new dud, but Sash, you look about as low down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within 10 seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular Ooh. thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so mm. she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. All right, we need to get something decent. So, what are you gonna get, sis? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kind of want you to spend all of August's money. Hey. All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? <whistles> that was a terrible whistle. You're up, Sash. Make it quick. <clears throat> huh, not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream crush. Scare. I feel like he's gonna punch us. Hey! Hurry it up already! I don't got all day! <gasps> why, why would you do that? Whoa, whoa, sorry. <laughs> Just, I don't know, kinda popped in the old head and I. I, I thought it, I thought it'd be funny, but obviously I was very, very wrong. Uh, so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry, I just gotta. Hmm. 
scan it for this. Yeah. Uh oh, I knew that was a bad idea. Hey. Hmm. Is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh no. <laughs> that is hilarious. I get it. Um, I'm just saying that. Oh man, that was sense. a good one. It's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. That's something I would say, not even realizing it was all like right. a pun. It's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. <laughs> Just get to the skin screen and. Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. oh, God. Mm. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. <clears throat> well, it's certainly... big. That's Scooter for you. I hope Vaughn's all right. I'm sure he's fine. We'll find him when we get back. Oh. <laughs> God, I feel like I just got bit by something. <clears throat> Frick was that? <clears throat> oh well. It was probably nothing. Probably just my imagination. At least I hope. Good song. Seriously. I mean, I probably would be the same way, but that's not the point.
Fee. You gotta see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. Hmm. I I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least with you. It looks so I don't peaceful. You think I prefer this view? Yeah. Me too. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. We get the beacon and we hold it ransom. It's the only piece of leverage we've got with Valerie. I suppose you're right. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife from me, is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise <clears throat> my franchise. You know <clears throat> what they say. I know ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa, need for that. Stop it! Come on, man. I gotta get some out of this trip. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Warning. Green collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a person? He's still up there? <laughs> well, he's been up there for a long time. Henderson. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, boy. Tell us something we don't know. So this is how I die. We knew it. We knew it. We could really use your advice here. This ship requires additional thrust. Okay. What happened with the loader bot? Which is bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Mm. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, cause that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to eleven. <laughs> still going? Now that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. Bro, huh? seriously. Kill. Huh? Kill. Huh. I 
don't you worry your pretty little yeah, all of you, dad, but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it though. Oh, there they are, okay. Alright, you go that way towards the rocket, and I'll take care of the other one. Listen, we ain't got much time. Be careful, Fee. We got this. I hope. That's right. Easy does it. Come on. Whoa. Not cool. Not cool at all. That's right. Easy does it. Okay. I'm here. Uh, right, <clears throat> how the heck are we gonna do it? Mm, oh no, we're gonna have to just. Oh no. <clears throat> Oh boy. Oh no. I knew it. Knew something was going to happen. Do step two without step one, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. Guys, that rocket's mm. at critical. Mm. You got to <clears throat> hurry. There has to be a way. It is, and that's the only option I'm right. No. Fiona, look at me. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now don't you go feeling all sorry for me, alright? People on Pandora will be talking about an old scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Y'all should be so lucky. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? Mm. You are? Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys. Sure, give him a hug. I'm sure he's gonna remember it. It's the fact that he's gonna probably die in a couple minutes. Go on. 
That was the first casualty of the mission. The first. So are there more? Oh no. There's no way it's gonna be Reese or Abby Fiona because they're right there. So the only ones I could think it could be is Sasha. So mm. what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. He deserve it. <clears throat> Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. Catch a ride. That was pretty much his catchphrase, wasn't it? I swear I've heard him say it like three, four times or something like that. part is Scooter was the best of us he deserves so much better he was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora although that's not probably saying much yeah it's not but anyway it, it's we didn't have much time is. to mourn and all that things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios So, um, the vet's not at, um, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I mm -hmm. repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. Howdy, gents. Miss me? You must have balls of steel showing your face back here. Ah, you're a gem. Well, I missed you guys, too. Big time, because I am Hugo Vasquez, and I miss guys that I miss. Yeah, we definitely have some catching up to do. What did he do? Seems like this isn't a good thing. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. <laughs> Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh, what's the word? Providence? Well, now, if it isn't cock knock and tweedle dick, how's about you get out of my way and let me go do my job? That's definitely something he would say. I really hope I get an excuse to kill you. Orders are to verify what the hell you are doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less, with half a loader bot stuck to the top. Oh. 
And what's that thing you dropped say? Catch, uh... Whatever the hell it says, it was a doll satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. <clears throat> Sounds made up. Seriously? Yeah, got, you know, very <clears throat> important places to be. So I'll just be... Hmm. Oh, no. Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Eva, it's so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. She doesn't really look so sad. Like, dang, I thought what she was friends. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. Well, he had a... he had a little accident. He's in pieces! I know. Reese's pieces. <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> that it's was down. a good one. That was a good one. I'm not taking the blame for this. <clears throat> Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Bro. Now we'll never collect the reward. He was against you us? a critical Hyperion asset. This is on you. You're not even a little sad? I thought you were close. That's none of your business. You and I had a deal. But he was your friend. If you think you can distract me, think again. Bro. You she is so job. gonna get killed. And, well, She's done you for. It. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smart ass you are under questioning. <clears throat> sure, let's talk to him. But if I go down, you're coming with me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Test me. Find out what I know about you. If you think I'd make a deal and not have my ass covered, then you don't know Hugo Vasquez. It's been real. Oh, I, s I cannot believe she would do that. Wow. Just wow. <clears throat> We're standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. Now for the password. All right, all right. You want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace, though. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. I know, I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Jack hack attack coming at you, baby. Man, we took it rule. And that is not the royal we this time. Hmm. That works. Uh -huh. Security cameras have been breached. Now. Go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you.
Oh, okay. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. Yeah, if I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time <clears throat> to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Sure will. Can't wait. Dang, he had a lot of that much money in his pocket. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, check in the schedule. Check in the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off her tour any second. We're on it. Nope, not a tour guide. That doesn't look like a tour guide. Nope. All right, there's a tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, 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 what about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food <laughs> that's why i stick to coffee hides the whiskey on my breath <laughs> A woman after fair my enough own heart. Uh, i've been thinking if hyperion served real food not that free hyperhydrated crap Find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? <laughs> Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordis. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it. What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. What the? Fiona? I don't like their faces. Are those are like Jack? Is that Jack faces? Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. <clears throat> so, <laughs> you guys are a tour group. We're the Handsome Jack VIP experience. The best tour money can buy. 
It better be. So are you going to give us the tour or not? All right. Just kill. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. I don't appreciate your attitude. And I don't appreciate your tardiness. Well, we can't always get what we want, now can we? Handsome Jack always did, and we will too. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Mr. Hyperion... Defeating... Um... So that's why this company is called Hyperion. I get it now. That makes so much more sense. The entire army of Gremtilius by... Rolling over it with a giant eyeball. <sighs> what a mess. Whoa. You are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. An epic mount that Jack rode into every single battle. And, uh... I wonder if Jack even rode that horse into space battles. <laughs> that sounds sure, I guess we'll go with this. And awesome. If you feed it, the stallion will crap high-velocity weaponry. Oh, <clears throat> so this is Butt Stallion. Ooh. Oh, Whoa. okay. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final... Exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kind of just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jack's chair of champions. He made every great decision from this chair. He ate brunch, lunch, and dinner here. He even strapped it to the back of his diamond pony to prance into battle. Can I sit in the chair? That chair is not for sitting. Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne. You catch my drift. Oh boy. Oh no, this is awkward. Wait a minute. That wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it mm. is? That was a test, people. Mm. And you failed. Wait, what? How does that work? All right, enough chit chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Oh boy. I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Oh, ho, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. You're guilty. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Can you ID the beacon? It's got to be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Stop. Why? Oh, boy. I, 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 I can't believe we're...
paper here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh. It ought to be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full handsome Jack. Yeah, Matthew I'm not. Experience. feel like it would set off an alarm or whatever. Uh, I really wouldn't. Yeah, you know what? We don't need your permission. Hey, I tried warning them. Oh my god, oh! Oh god, this isn't a tour! It's a goddamn death trap! Okay, uh, let's go. Everybody out. Hey, we tried telling them. I'm not cleaning that shit up again. You got this? Again? <clears throat> oh my god. This better work. Damn it. Yeah, I'm so sorry, hold on. Yeah? I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Some moron on the tour tried to go through before the door was deactivated. I, I, I can't. No, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, we just need to think about this for a second, and uh, maybe if we, had, um, um, hold tight, okay? I gotta call you back. Event here. Crap. He said to hold tight. <laughs> well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. Mm. This is my office now. <clears throat> First, you give me a body that isn't reason. Then you go hacking my computer. What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. Oh, hey, Yvette. Glad you came by. Just cleaning up my computer. Spare me the sarcasm. You want to tell me what's going on? We had a deal, mm. asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living oh inside my Reese's God. head. Bro. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you <clears throat> betrayed me. You're only out for yourself. You traitor. Oh, grow up. It's just an office. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well... You seriously underestimated me. You're right. Reese's I know this could be bad, but I just what? want to see her face. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't mm. like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? I'd, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. She deserves it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Really? That's how this is going down. A stun rod. Oh, wait a second. That's the one the one I gave Reese. To Reese. Shocking. I know. Get out of my office, Eva. Unless you'd rather take the airlock. How dare you threaten me? Threaten? No, this is happening. Free lunch time is over. Hey, she did that to herself. You there? Sorry, what hmm. took you so long? Do you forget that we have, a, you know, a mission to accomplish? I had to reclaim my office. I mean, well, it was never, you know, my office, but it should have been until Vasquez stole it from me. Early as this must look like Vasquez talking about himself in the third person. Ooh, ooh, check this out. 
I'm Hugo Vasquez, the biggest ass face in the camp. Great. Knock it off. Sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, Jack's office is on total mm -hmm. lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. A little help? Uh, I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no loss. Everybody's mm -hmm. gonna die. It'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the freaking battery on his back. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation count with a brief stop at making her eyes bug out real weird station. Jack, if you're not here to help, get lost. Don't tell me to get lost. You get lost. Uh, I, I can't think when you're talking. I'll call, I'll call you back. Wait, what? Reese! As I was saying... I'm here to hell. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just, just, to, just to make sure, this trap door is it a is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but <clears throat> am I gonna die when I go through it? You know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people die down there. No. What? Good to know, good to know. A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, hmm. climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. You're telling me I will be the first person mm. to go through your trap door and live to tell about it. First and probably the last. Okay, then. Guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jack hole there. Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. Gotta get arrested now? All Bro. Right. We do this Pandoran style. Hey! Hey! Mm-hmm. Oh, are we gonna do short stuff? <clears throat> hey, what do you think you're doing? Putting this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life. <gasps> why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it doing that? Why okay. is it bleeding? There's there's blood. Why is there blood? I am so confused. So it's I I I don't know. I don't know. Let's just move on. What? That made no sense. Oh. I told you just get arrested and meet me. Vaughn? Vaughn? Look, I don't know if you can hear me, but I managed to get away from Valerie. I'm not sure where I am right now, but I've got some things planned. Vaughn? Mm. Vaughn? Vaughn? Vasquez? Oh boy. Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's going to take years to do all the paperwork. Mm. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. 
can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them. I have no idea what is going on right now. <laughs> what the freak is going on here? To lead. Chica, bitch, Chica. These are the bullets. I've been counting. Get down. Oh, my. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is great. Well, okay then. That was an interesting thing right there. Hey, you. Alright, you know, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? <clears throat> Sometimes the light plays tricks, makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see one. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese. Things are going great. Did you just say Reese? Something. I could have swore you said Reese. I think she said release. Yeah, like, hey, release me. How pathetic. Right. Except what she apparently said was, Oh, hi, release. Things are going great. Yeah, that's a weird sentence, isn't it? So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh, yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do.
Nice job. Thanks. So, what is this plan exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. But now I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up... Seems like a fun place, mm. huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But, hey, I'm a team player. Oh, this Gordas. wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. Hmm. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. <clears throat> maybe. We'll see. Please just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. Okay. <laughs> okay. A little too much of a boost. How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Climb, climb. You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get <clears throat> messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on <clears throat> the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to. Look, we had to change plans. There were... complications. Well, let me uncomplicate it. Get the beacon, bring it to me. Yeah, working on it. Good. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Mm. Hey, <coughs> same to you, man. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordas Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. A ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Go look around before we go over there and look at the... Yeah, there's really no rush <clears throat> here. Just take it easy. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. The scarred, once upon a time same moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, 
for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. What is this? Ah, uh, it's a piece from an early immortality suit <laughs> prototype, but it uh, killed the subject, which is great, but just not what we're going for. Yeah, you think? Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. Welcome to my trophy case. Huh? <clears throat> Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> Delish. Gordas, you there? Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to show you the pieces now. Mm. You let me know which one it is. All right? Oh. Yeah, that's okay. That's the one. The U-shaped thing with the little it, I feel like it was the only thing that actually looked like it might have been. <clears throat> Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. I don't trust him. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. Mm. <clears throat> For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all starts. How's it feel, kiddo? Oh, There's feels pretty good. For a cushy chair with a bunch of big, important mm. buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh! It's you! Now what are you doing? Gordas, come back over here. Wow! You're all telling you to do the same thing! What are the odds of that? Who the frick is it? Oh boy. Bro, oh, I knew she was gonna get caught. So, if we could wield Hyperion's might together, how would you rule? 
Hypothetically, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want. You're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Fix Pandora. It fixed Pandora. There's some good people down there. They deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. <clears throat> you ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Hell no. You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. You know you died alone, right? Vault hunters killed your friends, they killed your family, and you croaked in some volcano in the middle of nowhere. I am really going to enjoy killing you. I am done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. No. Oh, no, really Frank. <clears throat> Well, dang. Well, okay then. That was a good episode. Uh, I think there's one episode left. I think what I'm going to do instead of playing it today, I am going to finish it on Monday, Monday afternoon. Uh, so yeah, we'll play it hopefully Monday. If not Monday, sometime next week. We will finish it and then we will start playing the new Tales from the Borderlands. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel and subscribe on there. I would really appreciate it. And make sure you follow me here on Twitch. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up.